Is the Israeli and Jewish community in Los Angeles doing enough to raise awareness of the special protection needs that they need from Muslim terrorism? Absolutely not. not. No. Why not? Uh, why not? Because they are not doing it. You know, I mean, they are. Uh, <clears throat> if they cannot show up even on this Memorial Day here on the 4th of July, uh, that for 15 years. Um, and this girl that died, Vicky Hen, that died, any one of the Israelis or the Jewish uh, members of the community in LA could have been the victim um, instead of her. And uh, everybody preferred to celebrate the 4th of July. And we would like to celebrate the 4th of July, but uh, <clears throat> one of the celebration, one of the part of the celebration of 4th of July. Um, is freedom, and this is what um, Fourth of July means to me. And um, having <clears throat> to be here and to see a family that lost their child just because she was associated with El Al and Israel, uh, that was killed by a Muslim terrorist, and no one of the Israeli or Jewish community coming to support, uh, it's very sad. It's, it's, a, it's a very sad for us. How far did you come for this event? Uh, two hour drive from uh, Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing it? For 15 years, every year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you feel a little resentment that the people who are local are not co uh, going out of their way to show some support? Of course, you know, it's not just to show support for the cause, but to, you know, uh, raise awareness, you know, for what's going on, you know, around the world. You know, my daughter drove three and a half hours from Fresno to come here today, as she did, you know, uh, in the last 15 years. She was here every year. Um, <clears throat> this, is, this is very sad.